Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Ninjago video here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about, once again, the upcoming Ninjago spin-off series for Garmadon, otherwise known as the Garmadon comic series, which is set to come out in April of 2022 with six distinct issues, a six-part mini-series for Garmadon detailing his adventures and the events of his life following March of the Oni, otherwise known as season 10 of the Ninjago TV show. So this Garmadon comic is very much going to be following the events that we have already seen from Garmadon in the Ninjago TV series, meaning that it is in fact canon and relevant to the actual storyline of the Ninjago series. And considering that it follows the character of Garmadon, in my opinion this series is worth analyzing and worth discussing even further. A few days ago we actually got ourselves a little bit of a preview as to what the Garmadon comic will be all about in the form of a couple of scans from unfinished comic panels. I've already talked about this in more detail in another video, but it showcases the Garmadon that we know and love following season 10 with long white hair now, and he He's facing off against a mysterious character, which appears to be another version of Garmadon, but who is that character really? He looks more evil, more sinister than the Garmadon that we know, so what's the deal with that? Why exactly are there two different versions of Garmadon in one place in one time? In today's video, I would like to give a couple of ideas as to what the answers to those questions may be in the form of theories and speculation. This is going to be a very heavy theory video today, so if you're looking for concrete confirmed information, you're not really going to find that here. Nothing I say in this video is 100% confirmed by official Ninjago sources unless I say otherwise. So with that quick disclaimer out of the way, let's jump into the big theory here. So after reading through the actual preview of the Garmadon comic, I think I have a rough idea as to what exactly is going on here. And let's not sugarcoat this, I think this version of Garmadon that we see in this comic, the one that is battling against the Garmadon that we already recognize from season 10, is simply a vision that our Garmadon is having. I don't believe that this character is a physical character, I don't think he's real. I think this other version of Garmadon that Garmadon sees is in fact just a vision of his own fears and his own insecurities, or even his own failures. And it's not a physical being as I said earlier, or at least that's what I'm thinking right now. And I say this for a couple of reasons. The version of Garmadon that we know right now from the Ninjago story, the one that was revived by Harumi during season 8 Sons of Garmadon, is still dead set on being a bad guy, being a villain, after he was revived with only that dark side brought back. His good side was never intended to return, which is what Harumi had hoped for. Harumi had revived Garmadon hoping that his evil side would be the only one showing. She hoped that this dark version of Garmadon would be the only Garmadon that was left, because that's what she desired and that's what she eventually did get once she successfully revived him. However, as we saw from Garmadon during subsequent appearances in Season 9 and Season 10, it seems like that dark side isn't the only thing that was brought back after all. This is especially true for March of the Oni Season 10, but it seems like Garmadon's good side may in fact be there ever so slightly. His humanity may in fact be there, and I think that idea terrifies Garmadon. The idea that this perfect form is in fact imperfect and not at all 100% evil, I think that idea terrorizes this version of Garmadon, and that shines through via this false vision. If this new Garmadon that we're seeing in this comic is a vision, that would explain why he looks so evil and looks so menacing compared to the Garmadon that we know. It's because that's what Garmadon is afraid of, he's afraid of that humanity shining through. To him, that humanity is a villain, that humanity is evil. The vision represents his fears, his version of evil and and madness. To a person like Garmadon, whose desire is to become 100% evil, or at least that's what he thinks his desire is, something like this, something that suggests that maybe he's actually not 100% bad guy, that thought would not sit well with him. That's possibly why we saw Garmadon leave following the events of season 10. After he did a good thing, he probably was a little scared of himself. Looking back on the entire Oni invasion and how much he actually helped the ninja, Garmadon probably did not recognize himself anymore. In other words, he was hit by a massive identity crisis and I think we're going to see that event play out in full force in this comic series. That could also explain why Garmadon now has white hair. Maybe he's driven by fear and he's just terrified constantly. The white hair, on a side note, looks amazing. I think it's an awesome design. It's quite the departure though from the gray hair that we saw him utilize as Sensei Garmadon or the black spiky hair that we recognize from the original Garmadon. I think he's just stressed out and terrified, mostly of his own thoughts and inner feelings. I think his inner demons have good intentions, but to him they are obviously demons. They go against everything that he stands for, and that idea terrifies him. Garmadon in this comic is most likely going to be fighting this version of himself,
himself because he doesn't want to face reality. Garmadon's life has had many ups and downs, it's very inconsistent. He was born good, then he turned evil, then he was good for a little bit longer, then he turned really evil, then he turned good again, then he died, and then he came back as a purely evil being. This guy's life is a complete mess, and that madness and chaos surge within him. He's the lord of chaos, but he desires balance. I think Garmadon knows what he needs to do. He recognizes that next step in his evolution, but he's not sure if he can get there. This vision, in my opinion, was subconsciously created to be the practical embodiment of those feelings. To be an opponent for Garmadon to face. If the fight and conflict really do feel Garmadon, maybe he created this vision to test himself. But ultimately, I'm not sure if that test will prove successful. I think we will see Garmadon revert back to not necessarily a good Garmadon, but maybe a less evil version of himself. I doubt we will see the old Sensei Garmadon form return, I think that form is just done and over with. I don't think Ninjago has any plans to tackle the Sensei Garmadon or Master Garmadon role once again for this character, but I think instead those personalities of Garmadon will fuse into one being, normal Garmadon with his evil physical form. Following the events of this comic series, we might see Garmadon find himself once again, not entirely, but maybe he can get on the right path. Maybe he'll just find a good start. Obviously following his unfortunate revival during season 8, which wasn't intentional on his part, he was just kind of forced into this circumstance. Eventually Garmadon and this other version of himself might work together. Garmadon and his vision may in fact be one and the same, learning to forgive each other and accept themselves, becoming human without necessarily being physically a human. There's also the idea that the ninja no longer consider Garmadon to be a threat, as mentioned by Lloyd during the first couple of episodes of season 11, Garmadon is no longer considered to be a threat to the ninja, which means if this comic series takes place after season 10 but before season 11, maybe that would explain why. Because he's finally found peace within himself, and perhaps the ninja and Master Wu got word of this somehow. Ideally, I would like to see Garmadon reconnect with the ninja during the conclusion of the comic series. I think it would be nice to see where the relationships of Garmadon continue from there. At least, that's what I would personally like to see. Will it happen? Well, that's pretty much up for debate. Much like several other other things that I've talked about in today's video. As mentioned, this video is simply a theory on my end, just simple speculation. I do not know for sure if the other version of Garmadon that we see in this comic will in fact be a vision. That was just my first thought thinking about Garmadon's character and what he might be up to during the events of this comic series, but I think it does make a fair bit of sense if I'm being honest. But of course, those are just my thoughts and my ideas. Thank you so much for watching today's video, you guys. That'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here today. Leave a comment down below talking about what exactly you think is going on with this new version of Garmadon, and let me know what you thought of the video as well. Thank you so much for watching today's video once again, you guys. If you enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for other forms of social media. Thank you all so much for checking out today's video once again. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.